Rapid Studio friends and followers. I'm Chantal and today's how to is how to upload your files that you've designed in a program outside the Rapid Studio ecosystem. First of all, Rapid Studio offer an online photo album making tool that allows you to quickly and easily and beautifully make a professionally designed album from beginners to pros. Uh, the online tool is dynamic and allows you to make a beautiful um, photo book. Some people um, feel more comfortable in a professional design program like InDesign, Photoshop, there's many. And providing that the files are set up correctly, we can print those files for you. There's a little bit of a different process to sharing those files with us and setting the files up. And that's what today's how to is about. So first of all, we're going to cover three things today where you can upload your files to us on your website. I'll help you navigate to that. How to set up your pages so that the dimensions are set for our printing standards for our photo books. And finally, how to cost and upload your files to us when you're all done and ready to go. So here we go, let's take a look at the website and get started. We're on the Rapid Studio homepage right now. We're gonna click on books and select hardcover, ultimate or softcover books, depending on what you're making. I'm making an ultimate album today. If I were using the Rapid Studio editor, this is as far as I'd need to go. I'd click choose my options, click create now and the Rapid Studio album maker would launch and I could use that. We're not doing that today. Click here on calculator, import my own artwork and it brings you to a page that will allow you to make your selections, um, import your artwork. But before we do any of that, we have to go and design our pages in our preferred program and we have to make sure our page setup is correct. Now for that, just keep scrolling down past the calculator to this little set of instructions. Now this set of instructions is exactly the same in writing as what I'm sharing with you today on the video. So I'm not gonna go through it in detail here, but to break it down very quickly, step one is you choose your album size. Once you know what size you're making, you need to calculate and set up the page size with bleed. And that is this one simple table will give you everything you need to know for every ultimate book we make. These are the different sizes. Column A is the amount of bleed we need on every side of the page. So that's left hand side, right hand side, top and bottom. Columns B and C is how your the size of your book once it's trimmed and finished. Those will correspond with the sizes here. And columns D and E are the real kickers. That's what you need to plug into your preferred design program, be it InDesign, Photoshop, whatever you're using, um, to say these are my page dimensions. Now, first thing to note is that um, ultimate albums are always prepared as double page spreads. So if I go down to my ultimate 300 by 300 album, for example, you'll see that the trimmed width um, when it's finished is 600 millimeters. That's because it's an, a page opened up. That's the full double page spread. And over here, ultimate 300 by 300, that's obviously a closed book and that's how it looks closed. Now on the 300 by 300, I'm gonna need 2.5 millimeters of bleed on each side, left, right, top and bottom. Please note the, si the amount of bleed we need for the different size books varies. So double check each time you're going in to make a new different size album, how much bleed um, you're catering for. If we go over to column D, the final um, width including bleed of our page setup, you see it's 605, which is each of our pages, 300 plus 300 plus 2.5 on the left hand side, 2.5 millimeters on the right hand side, that will give us 605 millimeters width on our page setup. And on our height, it's obviously our, our 300 trim type plus 2.5 on the bottom and 2.5 on the top. That'll give us 305. All the calculations have been done for you. You just need to, um, yeah, refer to this table, get those settings, put them into your program, and then your book will um, be produced at the exact dimensions that are going to fit with our, our print, print setup. And I'll show you on the next screen um, how that looks um, once you send it to us. So you've gone away, you've made your album, and now you're ready to upload it. Once again, we find the place to upload our files by clicking on the product we want and clicking the calculator import my artwork page. And now we need to go through all the steps that I zoomed past last time because all the selections you make 
here are how we must build your album for you and these instructions go through to our factory. So first of all you choose your album size, your cover type, I'd like semi-personalized with mural, there it is there with that beautiful leather down the side um, and your favorite picture on the front. You choose your cover material. As you choose the different options the little swatches below will change to give you the options that are available in those uh, cover types. Um, I want genuine leather but I want black. I don't want embossing today. Yep I like the standard paper. I like the heavy paper mounting the best. And then you're up to share your artwork with us. Choose how you'd like to send your book to us. We strongly recommend the, the recommended import my artwork. What that will do once you make that selection is it'll open the Rapid Studio um, editor and you can um, place your images in there. The alternative is to send a file link with your um, with your files, something like WeTransfer. Um, this option doesn't allow you to preview and check your book and there's a little bit more labor in the checking side on that. So there is unfortunately a service fee attached with that option. This option is, is, is very easy and highly recommended. Um, first of all, you fill in the number of spreads your book is going to be. You've already produced your spreads and you've exported them as 300 DPI um, JPEGs. So once you've got them number of spreads, I am actually making a 10 page book today. I can double check my price and then I'm going to import my artwork and it's going to launch the Rapid Studio blank editor. Now I've already so that I've been ready for you prepared my pictures, but to get your images in, you're just going to click on images and um, click the upload button to get your files ready. Um, always upload your cover picture first. We recommend you use our editor to create the artwork for your cover. You can make it in a design program outside, but um, often if you're just using one image on the front, if it's a semi-personalized option, we highly recommend you just open the editor and do your cover picture inside the editor, not like in Photoshop or InDesign, but you can do that. Um, but this is our recommendation. We just think it's easier. So you just drag your picture of, across. Um, obviously that's off centered. So I'm just going to play around with that image a bit and get it how I want it to look for my cover. Oops, I've gone too far. I'm getting a warning to say if I zoom in that much, the resolution will be um, pixelated. I don't want that. So I'm going to keep going until that's perfect how I want it. Thank you very much. That's my cover. Back to images. Now I've already loaded. I When I exported my JPEG double page spreads, I named them um, in the page number 001002 and that will mean they um, appear in the editor in order, which means I'm not going to spend time reordering my pages. So once my cover's done, then all I need to do is click that auto fill button and look what happened. Everything magically appeared and the order is corresponding with the order here, which um, I was able to set because of that numbering hierarchy. Now you see these little exclamation marks appearing. Ordinarily we would not ignore these. These would mean your image resolution is too low and um, go back to your file pictures and um, upload high resolution pictures. Um, but I'm just doing, I just loaded low res stuff today as this for this example. So that we'll just ignore that, but we wouldn't usually do that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click through and check that my pages appear as I design them to be in the program that I made. So this, um, well, let's go back. This page bleeds off the edge. If I click on this and try and move it around, um, if I've set up my page dimensions correctly, it shouldn't be able to move because the bleed that I set, um, the page dimensions is exactly what Rapid Studio needs. If I've got a little bit of movement in there, it might have been your, your setup was uh, a couple of millimeters off and you might need to go back and fix that. But you can see mine's not moving. It's perfect. I'm happy with that. One thing I will ask you to pay attention to is this green line. This green line will not print in your book, obviously. It's a guideline we provide um, just to give you an indication of, um, it's called the safe area. So you would 
would want all your heads, all your text, anything special to be within that line. I'll just get to a page with bleed. Um, it, 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 it is most affected when, um, when there's bleed. So here, see the people, the key elements of my image are within that green safe area. Um, we can cut his arm off, that's okay. Well, not if there's gonna be cut off, um, but you wouldn't want a head sitting out that close to the edge and especially not text sitting close to that safe line. It just does not look nice. And um, we also recommend you draw that safe line in on when you're doing your page setup. Um, the red line is obviously the guillotine line. That's where your, your book is going to be cut. And you can see a little bit past that line is that millimeter that we've taken or the millimeter of or two, depending on what book you're making. Um, to just uh, get get that bleed effect. So my book's looking perfect. I'm happy with that. It's appearing in the Rapid Studio program exactly the same way I designed it in my um, design suite. And I just need to click Add to Cart. And that is doing two things. It's um, uploading your files to us so that we can receive them. Um, and here's your confirmation. Just double check these are all the selections you made. If you want to order more than one copy of the book, this is the place to do it. It'll um, and click update and it'll update your price. Oh, it's just thinking a little bit now, a bit slow like me. Um, if you've got a promo code, pop that in and proceed to check out. Nice and easy. I hope that's been helpful in showing you how easy it is to prepare and upload your files to us. We're waiting to receive them. We can't wait to print your books for you. And thank you for choosing Rapid Studio. Have a beautiful day.